Hey guys, it's Jess again. So this will be my second video of the day. And the reason I'm doing two videos, as I explained in the last one, is because I've been having a lot of Hunger Games requests, but I've also been having a lot of <clears throat> non-Hunger Games related um, requests as well. And today, <clears throat> as you can tell from the title, I am doing the Furry Friends tag. And I know a lot of you like my dog and my cat. Um, <clears throat> only my dog will be in the video today though, unless Chester comes in, but he's sleeping. So I may have to do a separate video for him. But I know most of you guys would just like to see Reba anyway. So we'll just do it with her. Now if you want a Hunger Games video, I've already posted it. Um, I posted two videos, so um, you don't have to watch this one if you're not interested in... Um, tag videos or whatever but I'm doing it anyway because it was requested and I know you guys like my dog. So question one is what is your pet's name? This is Reba. Um, we didn't actually name her but um, we stuck with that name because she responded to it. Um, my cousin actually named her because she was my cousin's dog and she is named after the country singer <clears throat> Reba McIntyre because my auntie likes her and she has red hair. Question two is what kind of pet is it and what breed? Um, I'm pretty sure she's a dog but I could be wrong. Um, no, she's a dog and her breed, she's got um, a few things mixed in there but predominantly Jack Russell and Corgi. Question three is, how long have I had my pet friend? <laughs> That's cute. Um, let me think. How old are you? I believe we've had her for five, nearly six years. Question four is, how did I get my pet? Um, this is quite a long story and it's a bit sad, but... Um, so my cousins live on a farm in central New South Wales, Australia, and my uncle's friend rescued her from, um, a family that was abusing her, um, and then he didn't know what to do with her, so my uncle took her in, and they were going to use her as a working dog, but she was not cut out for that, um. Uh, she would chew up their boots and just she always wanted to be inside and she couldn't go inside because they live on a farm and she was dirty and when they take the other working dogs out um, to like round up the sheep and stuff she would distract them so she just wasn't working out and they don't really have pets just for the sake of being pets they have working animals so um they were trying to find a home for her and we went to visit and they were like, do you want our dog? Um, and we'll, we thought they were joking, but they weren't. Um, they wanted to find her a nice home because she'd had um, a bit of a rough run while she was a puppy. And I don't think you, you've ever seen her tail, but it is really short. Um, the original owners lopped off her tail. Um, so she wouldn't get fly blown, but they used um, <clears throat> what they use on sheeps to hack it off. So, yeah, not the best first time. She's a very sensitive girl, but yeah, so anyway, uh, we thought they were joking, and then my cousin came up to us. She's like, Can you please help, like, take my dog with you? Because it's just. Um, a lot of you guys will probably put like a lot of animal abuse comments on this but when a, a dog's not working out on a farm or it's injured you take him out to the paddock and you shoot them like that's just what happens but we didn't want her to get shot so we took her with us and we'd always wanted a dog but um never really got one so now we got her now that that story's over um question five how old is your pet we got her when she was about two and she's um, seven now, so she's 49 in dog years. And she still looks like a puppy. She's still so little. Aren't you, darling? Yeah. Question six. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? <laughs> this could go for a while. Um, I suppose the most 
thing she's known for is she is a big ass licker. She just licks non-stop. If you've seen in my videos, there will be like, I think there's a video up where she just doesn't stop licking for the entirety of the video. It's pretty hilarious, but she likes to lick like your hands and your feet and your legs. She'll lick anything. Like when you first wake up, she'll like want to lick all over your face and it's pretty disgusting, but that's how she shows her affection. <laughs> so I feel bad if I don't like let her lick my hand or something. And I know some of you would be grossed out by that, but you know, she's my pet. <laughs> I know how clean she is. Question seven, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? It means, I was gonna sound corny, but she pretty much means everything to me. She's like the most beautiful dog in the world and she's so like empathetic. Like if you feel sick, she'll spend like all day like in bed with you and she just like knows if you're having like a really crap day and she'll make you feel so much better but yeah she means the world to me she's so special question eight is what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet um i don't know we play peekaboo she likes that game like you get a blanket like it's seriously like a child you get a blanket but you put it over your head instead of hers otherwise she'll freak out and you put it over your head and you'll be like where's reba and then you put it down peekaboo and she'll just flip her shit. She goes insane. It's hilarious. Like, but like not insane in a bad way. She loves it. Um, she'll like try and pull the blanket down so she can see you. It's really cute. If I ever get a video of it, I'll have to show you guys. Question nine is what are some of the nicknames you call your pet? And Reba has like 50 million nicknames. She pretty much responds to anything, but like Reba's like she'll definitely come to that if you say it in a high enough pitch she'll just come to you anyway um, so I'll go with the most popular ones she gets Reby, um, Reby Roo, Roo, Roosy, uh, Roosy Roo like everything with an R sometimes we call her Ruby because she's red <laughs> and it sounds like Reba um, me and my brother call her fox face because she ha has like a face like a fox and has red hair. Ribena. And just like, we'll call her like special girl, pretty girl, lovely girl. Anything girl on the end because she's a little girl. Isn't that right? Precious girl. Like that. I'm such a loser. Animals make me go weird. Anyway, so that is the end of the Fairy Friends tag, and if you do want to see one with Chester, I can sh like attempt to do one in a room he's sleeping in, so, he <laughs> so he's like in the video. Um, it could be difficult, but I can try. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed it and getting to know Reba a little bit more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Hunger Dog Friendly Persons Games. Bye.